The U.S.'s $12 billion U.S. dollar aid package for farmers would include direct cash relief of $7 to $8 billion U.S. dollars for farmers who raise soybeans, sorghum, corn, wheat, cotton, dairy, and hogs. The plan also offers government purchases in such sectors as fruits, nuts, and pork. It also promises a trade promotion program to develop new markets. However, American farmers are still expected to take an $11 billion hit due to retaliatory tariffs. This is a temporary measure, uh, really a time to give President Trump and uh, his negotiating team to uh, uh, get these trade disputes resolved. Uh, I think it's for the 18 crop, the 2018 crop. Obviously, this is not going to make farmers whole. And uh, when soybean farmers tell you they've lost $2 in market value from March, you know, although it's coming back some, then this is not a, a $2 a bushel make whole program. That sentiment has been echoed by many American food producers who would rather bargain themselves in a global market than get government subsidies. They say that's because farmers rely so much on exports to big markets like China. For example, the U.S. is the world's largest soybean producer, with 60% of its exports going to China every year. The soybeans are a hard sell these days now that China has triggered a 25% retaliatory tariff. This year, when our soybeans are harvested in uh, October and November, we anticipate that we'll have no sales this current coming year to China, that we won't have any, just because of the tariffs. The, the ones that were on the water had already been loaded uh -huh. and were on ships destined to China. They're going to accept those. Okay. But any future orders, they canceled. DeLong is a 90-year-old Wisconsin-based food distributor and major soybean dealer. The company's annual trade volume with China has annually topped $100 million US dollars in recent years. But now, the business has been stalled by tariffs and is struggling to find substitute markets. The company has lowered purchasing prices by 20% for soybeans in accord with the selling prices. The American farmer wants to grow soybeans and they want to market their soybeans throughout the world. They don't want to depend on government assistance because of low prices. They want to produce crops. And uh, we have to get these issues worked out, hopefully, between our two governments. And uh, we can get back to growing soybeans and signing with the Chinese. Xiaocheng, CGTN.